The Great British Bake Off needs a new host, and we think you can help us select a new host. Hey, welcome to Hollywood Happens, the very first and longest running entertainment show on the web. I'm John McQuilkin. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, let's get right on into it. The Great British Baking Show, uh, the Great British Bake Off, that's what it's called in the UK, is in search of a new host. Matt Lucas left as a host, and Matt Lucas is a nice comedian, but he wasn't a good fit as a host for the show. He would often stand there trying to think of things to, to say that were funny, and to me, in my opinion, he just didn't connect enough with the contestants, even though he is a great guy. Now, Noel Fielding, on the other hand, he is fantastic, and I love him, and he does not need to go anywhere. So, Richard McCaro, who is searching for a new host, and Richard, I'm sure you're a big fan of the show and you're watching right now, please listen to me. Do whatever you can to get Sandy Tolksvig to return to the show. She was the best. Sandy used to have real moments with the contestants that Matt Lucas just didn't have, God bless his heart. So do whatever you can to get Sandy to come back. Sandy used to cry when the contestants had to go home and Matt Lucas would cry too. I'm not saying he didn't, but Sandy just had that extra something. And I know perhaps Sandy doesn't want to return to the show, but it is imperative of you to let her know how much she is needed for the Great British Bake Off. So do what you can to get her to return to the show. And if you're already considering somebody else to be the host, please, I hope it is not another guy. Not that there's anything against guys. I like guys. But there's too much male energy on the show, at least last season, right, with, with Matt, Noel, uh, and, and Paul Hollywood. Prue was the only female. You need another female in there. That's why I'm imploring you to get Sandy to come back. We need feminine energy on the show. Sandy could connect with the contestants or another female host, but hopefully you'll get Sandy. So no more guys, okay? At least not for now. You don't need another guy. Now again, Noel Fielding is fantastic. And for those of you wondering, no, he does not wear a wig. And yes, he does dye his hair. He's always dyed his hair. And who doesn't? It's fun to dye your hair. But um, he doesn't wear a wig. But Noel is fantastic. So, again, Richard McCarroll, like I said, I'm sure you're watching. Do what you can to find a host that is female. And those of you watching right now, leave a comment below. Let me know who you think should host the show. Do you have somebody in mind? I mean, you know, somebody in the UK that I'm not aware of that would be perfect to be a host on the show. Leave it in the comments below. Also, let me know if you enjoy watching the show. Now, one of the criticisms this past season that Richard McCaro is addressing is that they said that the, um, the um, contest or the, 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 what's it called? Well, I'll just say the contest this year, this past year, were too hard on the contestants. Now, I disagree. What I think um, Richard McCarroll is responding to is a lot of internet bots, fake accounts on the internet that are leaving a bunch of comments saying how tough the um, tasks were this past season on the Great British Bake Off. I don't think they were too tough, but I hate it when they run out of time. So perhaps give um, each contest 15 minutes more time because I know you're thinking well yeah that can be done in two hours or that can be done in an hour and 45 minutes yeah for Paul Hollywood it can but these are amateur bakers sometimes they need 15 minutes to just figure out what the recipe is so give them an extra 15 minutes to get the ball rolling now the last thing I want to say is in the United States, I don't have access to the early episodes of The Great British Bake Off. The only seasons I've watched are those that are on Netflix. PBS in the United States no longer carries The Great British Bake Off. Also, Amazon Prime no longer carries the show. So I am left 
without any of the original episodes. So therefore, I never watch any of the Christmas specials of the Great British Bake Off because they bring in past contestants. And I don't want to see a past contestant and have them say, yeah, she was in season three and she lost because I haven't seen season three yet. So I don't want to watch it and know, oh, well, this, this girl obviously lost because I saw her in the holiday special. So I'm not going to watch any of the specials of Great British Bake Off until I've seen all the seasons. So Richard McCarroll, if you can make that happen, if there's a way that I can stream the early episodes of the Great British Bake Off, please let me know. Please hook me up. Well, that is it for today's show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to have another show for you real soon. I promise you that. So until then, take care, everybody. I'm John McQuilkin, and I'll see you in Hollywood.